Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Magic DK Performance. Now, the mo we get asked a lot of questions. We get messaged a lot of questions. Right, we're probably partnering, we should be partnering with Google, the amount of questions we ask about exhaust systems. But look guys, one of the main questions, can you make an exhaust out of aluminium? In this video, I'll let you know, but you'll have to wait for that. But let's talk about the rest of the questions that one are generally asked. What's the difference between mandrel bends and normal bends? And why is it that your guys are more expensive than others? But let me tell you in this video today, guys, the differences. So come along and let's check it out. Right. So if you just go in past on the floor, guys, one of our demonstrations, if you could see there, can you see the difference in the quality of work? Okay, workmanship. So th these are generally in our shop that we show you. This is a uh, four inch bend, okay, fully mandrel. As you could see over here, mandrel is generally, when we're designing mandrel, is for, to get you the best flow, best possible flow that you could get onto a car. Right, generally used for high performance vehicles, uh, not the mainstream kind of entry level. We don't, we, not because we don't advise you to do that, it's because it, it can become costly. But let's talk about it on the car outside, our R8. Now, ooh, she's still a pretty sight, even with the, uh, the bumpers off. Right guys, so straight away you could see that you could see beautiful chrome pipe work. Okay, what, how, what's, uh, what are we talking about when we're talking about this pipe work? Okay, so we're looking at completely beautiful mandrel bends all the way through, as you can tell, right, in three inch. And all, this are all gonna be all, put all together as a jigsaw. Now, you can see these ones on the floor also, right? Now, here's the difference, guys. That's a mandrel bend that we pre-made, or we generally send off a lot of tubing to a big manufacturing company to give us the perfect bend, which you could see right there. This design is for mainstream. Okay, you could see in two inch, two and a half inch, two and a quarter inch. So generally throughout the range, you could see in different sizes. Now, we, that, this also can be done in three inch, but we, just, we generally don't allow it. So what's the main question that generally what people ask us? Madge, what's the difference between mandrel and machine bend. So that is mandrel what you can see that a perfect bend. And this is what's designed on a general, like what, what we would say a mandrel bending machine, which is conventional, which you buy, which most exhaust shops all around the world will have. So this is what I always say, the entry level exhaust system. Now, can you see all the kinks? Now, not necessarily saying that you always get this kink, but generally when you're bending on that particular model, on these machines, this is the quality you could get. It's not polished, it has a press bend, right? So you could imagine the flow is already restricted from here to there. Same with that one. That doesn't have any kinks, but still you have a press bend, which is restriction from there and also there. And lastly, the one and three quarter inch. So when people ask me that question, Madge, why are you more expensive? Because we, 99% of the time, that's the bends that we use, the mandrel bends. And generally, depending on the clientele base, they're also purge welded, which is something else that we show you either in this video or another video. So that's the question that guys has always asked. Can you or can you not? Right, why are you so expensive? Why is, why is what's the difference? So as you can see right there, that is a machine bent which is pressed on the machine that we'll show you in the video okay so that's what you get entry level is it important it's up to you when you want sound or you just bought your car so it works it does work what you see on the r8 is a mandrel okay generally purge welded supercars fast cars cars that need quicker flow exhaust exhaust flow now the biggest question at the start of the video that everybody's asking me and always asks can you make an exhaust system out of aluminium? Well, the question is no, you can't because it'll crack and the materials are not used for that kind of resistance of heat. That it will literally explode, guys. It's generally only used for aluminium work. It's used for flowing for, uh, for intake systems and for charge cooling and generally that where there's not as extensive amount of heat. So you can't use aluminium 
for exhaust systems. So I hope that answers your question. Any more questions, guys? Don't, you know what? We'll give you loads of these videos. Any exhaust related or tuning related questions that you guys have, please don't hesitate to uh, drop us a message. I'll get you as much content as possible out. I hope this video was helpful for you. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Besides having all vanted content, we will give you serious content as well. So anything that you think about, anything exhaust related, please don't hesitate to drop us a message, guys. See you on the next video.